Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, and I'm coming at you live once again from my home here in Central Florida. Now, today is Friday, and I want to take just a moment to welcome you all to another edition of Photo Fridays, which seems to be the name that you all seem to like the very most in the comments from last week. See, at first I'd ask if you want a photographic or photography Fridays, but uh, me making a total goof of myself in the outro of the video saying, Photo! Seem to be something you all like. So I'm bringing out my samurai side and uh, dropping in with my samurai photographical skills, dudes. And uh, I really am excited about this series. I was honestly so surprised by how much you all liked it and by how excited you all were about my photos and about the experiences I had behind the photos, how I took the photos, etc. The comments seemed to be pretty split between people who wanted to know the technical side of how I did it and people who wanted to know the adventure side of where I did it or what happened that got me into that situation. So I'm gonna do everything I can to try to give you both sides of that and in this episode, I have two more photos from my life in California, one from my epic surf trip, which I had last week, actually the same thing, and uh, one from actually just about a block and a half from my old house in Laguna Beach. So really cool photos. Uh, I think you'll like them. I get a little more breakdown into how I took a couple of, or took the latter one. I hope you like that. Uh, also, one thing that I did not expect at all, it's really blown my mind and surprised me, was how many of you have asked me for access to the photos, whether you want to have them as your background or actually want to print them and put them on your walls. Uh, tons of you guys have asked for it, and I actually messaged most of you and let you know that I don't have that ability right now. I don't have a little store set up for you guys to buy these, but I am working on it. So, wow, I've been really active with my hands today. Sorry, I'm like, I'm stoked. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You guys should, just so you know, hopefully by next week I'll have a little Aviator online store and it's uh, going to have all my prints and stuff from all the Photo Fridays plus some really cool swag that I'm not able to talk about yet because it's still being in, put in the works. So hopefully next week it'll be done, putting tons of my time and my team's time. I got some really great people helping me out on this. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you all so much for your interest and for being a part of this Photo Friday thing. I, I'm loving sharing with you. It's, it's a totally different, totally new thing to share. And... Just so you know, I am working on more adventure videos, including some of the coolest stuff I've done ever and some new things I've never even tried before. So that'll be coming soon. Uh, tomorrow, catch me on the Commentator Showdown version 2.0, gamedunzo.com slash showdown. And on Sunday, catch me at our open lobby, twitch.tv slash aviator. Or tonight, actually, right after this video goes up, I plan to be streaming. So uh, yeah, check me out, twitch.tv slash aviator, spelled A-V-I-A-T-O-R. And this supposedly short intro has gone on for way too long, so I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the two photos I'm featuring this week, and that you'll, uh, you know, leave me your thoughts on your favorite one. I'll talk to you all very soon. See you later. Bye-bye. All right, guys, we are back once again this week with Photo Fridays number two, or episode number two. And our first photo comes from Laguna Beach, California. I'm keeping this California trend going as long as I can. This photo is taken about a block and a half from where I used to live in Laguna, right on PCH or Pacific Coast Highway. And man, I got to tell you, I love love Laguna Beach. It's just such a beautiful little town. There's something about living there and just being a part of that that world, I guess. I don't know. So uh, on the left-hand side of the horizon of this photo, you can see a rock there that's called Bird Rock, obviously from all the birds on top of it. I'll try to do a little zoom in here. Zoom in. And uh, as I'm taking this photo, just so you guys understand what's happening, the water looks kind of silky. And that is due to or because of a very long exposure, similar to that San Francisco photo that I posted last week, where I was stitching 30-second long photos together in order to create an ethereal effect so you can see more of what was happening in real life. I think this image was around 15 to 20 seconds. I'll have to look it up. But as you'll see here, what happens is the waves come in and I capture all their movement. So instead of having just a still wave, like a single wave shot where the wave is frozen, I'm actually capturing the wave's movement as it comes across and having the still parts of the image be the rocks themselves. So that picks up a lot more color in the rock and it picks up a lot more color and movement in the water. Over time, each long exposure like this captures this really ethereal feel, something that just doesn't quite feel real. And that's what I like most. In fact, one of my next photos for next week captures water's movement in one of the most beautiful ways I've ever captured. It's definitely one of my favorite photos of all time and one that I plan on printing very, very large and putting on my wall. So uh, I hope you guys like this photo. The very next day after I captured this image, I went back to Bird Rock and I took a model with me. And that little pool of water you see right there in the middle of the image, I decided I wanted to put her in that in a wedding dress. So here's a little snapshot of what that image looked like. It's not quite as pretty because the sunset wasn't quite as epic, but still quite 
quite lovely and a cool idea. So uh, I'll fill in more information on how to shoot people and how to put people into scenes like this because it is very, very challenging to do. And we'll talk more about uh, portraiture and wedding photography and things like that in future weeks. But this week I wanted to do a little bit with you on landscapes. So that's photo number one, Laguna Beach, California, on the rocks. Help me name this image. I would like to get your thoughts on what I should call it because it's going to be going up in my brand new aviator store very soon and I'd like to have a name on it. So here's a couple of options. Let me know if you like one, two, or three and we'll talk to you guys very shortly on the next image. All right, guys, this is the next shot. This is my 1970 Volkswagen Bug taken during my epic surf trip. Now, this image was actually taken the morning before I sank this bug in the Pacific Ocean. And it's one of my favorite shots because it shows exactly where I slept one night right there on the side of the road, and actually then later inside the car, which is not very comfortable when you don't have a back seat that's available, uh, <laughs> and you're six foot four and have a broken back. It, it makes for very interesting night's sleep. But regardless, I slept, slept right there on the side of the road and captured this image right at sunrise the next morning. So that's my 1970 Volkswagen Bug. I've got two surfboards on the roof. The interesting things about this shot that I wanted to bring to your attention are a couple of different things. First and foremost, there's a rule called leading lines. All right, now leading lines is when you use different elements of a photo or different elements of a scene to draw your eye into the focus. Now in this situation, there are several leading lines. You may notice the road on the right-hand side. Here's a little highlight. There's the road and that white line on the road in the foreground. Those two lines are perpendicular to where the car is. Now the surfboard, also perpendicular to the car, or the surfboards, the white line on the car, everything in this draws your eyes up and to the left. That's the whole goal of the way I shot this frame. I was laying down in the middle of the road when I took it, my whole goal being just to draw your eye into the image and then into that beautiful sunburst up above the car. Which brings me to my next little piece of information, something that might help you out a little bit, and that is shooting into the sun. This is one of the biggest no-nos or rule-breaking things that you'll learn if you ever take any kind of a photo class or the like. They're always going to tell you, oh, shoot away from the sun, let the sun light your portrait. I break those rules, man. I am all about backlit portraits. <laughs> backlit portraits. They look so pretty. There's just something about them that has this feeling of romance and excitement and adventure that's very different than a very plain, boring, here's an image, it's a car, and there's a sun in front of it, and it's back, and it's just, eh, it's boring. So, a couple of things to notice, leading lines, really strong colors and contrasts, shot at sunrise with a backlit portrait, and there's little things on the bottom right-hand side, I guess kind of the middle right-hand side of this image that I want to bring to your attention as well. You'll notice there's little bits of funky color. Those are called lens flare. When the sun hits your lens at a quartering angle, oftentimes you'll get what's called lens flare as the light refracts through the different pieces of glass within the lens. So that's called lens flare. You'll see that in quite a few of my photos. I personally really like the effect. Some people don't know what it is and they're, they're kind of confused by it, but I've always loved lens flare and there's just something about it that can kind of make an image look even more real. So that is my bug photo. Again, because you all have asked for it so much, I am working on getting an aviator YouTube style store up for you all and getting all the different prints that I feature on Photo Friday in there, whether you want to download Download them and use them as a background or you want to put them on your wall either way would be awesome and I would love to get some of these prints in your hands obviously I had to charge a little bit for them so I could feed my family this is what I do for a living but shouldn't be too much and it should be a lot of fun to see how many of you guys like which photo so guys if you like this video please take a moment out of your day to click the like button and do me a favor and leave a comment below because Again, I need your help naming these photos, and I need your thoughts on which photo was your favorite. Did you like the first photo of the ocean, or did you prefer the one with the bug in it? Next week, we're going to be going over backlit portraits once again, and I'll be including my very first photo of a couple or an individual. I haven't decided which yet, but my very first portrait, and I'm really excited to be sharing my portraits with you guys. That's what I do best. That's what I love the most, and they're lots and lots of fun. If you guys like Photo Fridays, leave me a comment below. Again, guys, you're all legends and superstars. I really appreciate you all being here as a part of this YouTube adventure, and I'm looking forward to playing with many, many of you on Sunday in our open lobby at 1 p.m. twitch.tv slash aviator. I'll talk to you guys later. See you later. Bye-bye.